Yeah. Uh, my, my deepest condolences mm -hmm. out to his family. Beautiful, beautiful family. And when I look into the eyes of his queen, I know she's suffering in a lot of pain. Yeah, she has a nonprofit called Black Men Deserve to Grow Old. Mm. How ironic is that? Right. Right? Uh, him and his beautiful children, all of those things. So we want to send out <clears throat> deepest of condolences to Memphis, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, small towns, when you become a hometown hero, it means a lot because I am because we are. We are the African proverb, so it, it it's it's truly a reflection of you know who he is. Um, but at the root of these issues, it, it all goes back to the same thing. What kind of message are we constantly putting out? Mm -hmm. So I had never heard his music before. I had heard a few songs. I didn't know his name. Yeah, yeah. You know how that goes. Go, oh, yeah. I didn't know he made that. Yeah. So I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm an expert. Um, the words that come out of our mouth are critical and how we record them when we record something, it's basically here forever. And when it's here forever, that signal is pulsing throughout the universe in which you become a tuning fork and that tuning fork resonates. It goes up and down based on where you vibrating mm -hmm. and the stronger the vibration, we understand that that's the resonant pull of, of, of your lyrics, your walk. With that being said, he gave so much. So here's the ironic thing and we'll get delve further into this on the lecture. Everybody here has to make a sacrifice. So he had to be sacrificed I hate to say it so that his, put it like this, because I've always said it's one of them weird things where you sell drugs. I don't know if he was a drug dealer. When you sell drugs to kill the community, but then you turn around and give all the money or uh, a great portion back to the community, it seems oxymoronic. But in every walk of life, there is some kind of sacrifice taking place. So we've put a negative connotation on sacrifice but we all sacrifice, we all kill somebody. Not maybe in the literal sense, we kill old friends, we kill old girlfriends, we kill old ways in order to achieve something of tangible goods. So the fact that he is constantly on the run, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. with somebody after him, I need to know and delve deeper into what was about his spirit that made people want to attack him and kill him. Yeah, you they didn't I mean? rob him. They killed him. You know what I mean? Like, I, this was a hit. Yeah, I saw the, the still pictures from the surveillance. Yes. And you don't just walk around with those guns, see somebody. Like, that was the a plan. Yeah, that yeah. was a planned, like, and ambush. It hit. wasn't even a well calculated plan under the guise that he goes to that cookie shop every day when he's in town. Yeah, he actually, it was a video, <clears throat> uh, like, a week ago of him in front of that very cookie spot. Like promoting it, they use it on their Instagram. So it you sort of reminded me of Nipsey in front of uh, his spot, yeah, his store, yeah. uh, Marathon. Mm -hmm. So these individuals, it wasn't like he was hard to get to. Uh, he kind of felt in his own town, <clears throat> he didn't need to, uh, you know, you know what I mean, have yeah. security, and, and and that's the danger because your success uh, uh, breeds anger. It breeds resentment. It yeah. breeds jealousy. Not to even get into the five-pointed rings that he, Young Dro, and the other guy who's also from uh, to my King on that Von, label, King Von. O3. Right, they're all on Empire Records. And uh, all of them died in November. Uh, do, ju he was Juice World's cousin. Yeah, right he then. was Juice World's cousin. Yeah. Exactly. Juice World was his cousin. Yeah. Who I, I died of an overdose. Yeah. So when I see his beautiful family... And I know what his heart, what what came out mm. of his heart. I'm not even sure he was very comfortable rapping about the shit he rapped about. But you have no choice. So when I, this is what I mean by the sacrifice. All of these rappers know when you go to Empire Records or 360 Records, it was a concerted effort to get rid of conscious music. The only way you can get on to even accumulate. Mm resources to truly help somebody 
is you got to kill somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, that's going to go over people's heads, but I'm going to say it again slowly. In order to help people, you have to kill people. All right? And prove me wrong. Look at all the rappers who, you know what I mean, who speak death into existence and then turn around and take the proceeds and feed their neighborhood. How many actual drug dealers sold drugs, not just to give away turkeys, mm. but to feed the neighborhood? This is a weird, weird dynamic that we must uncover and address at its root because we're looking at a lot of geniuses whose growth is being stunted for the very reason that the gatekeepers or the gatekeepers are making sure that before you send a signal globally, it has to reach them for the most part. Mm. Now, I know he was independent and you have a lot of, but independent ain't what you think it is. You think the label's going to allow you to just go independent and they not make their money? Mm. They come up under different names posing as independent yeah, so, so that they catch you there. It's sort of like people don't realize Mercedes owns a whole bunch of used car dealerships. Right. I mean, right? Because yeah. they know if you can't afford the Mercedes, yeah. we still want to get our money. Peace. Yeah. If you like what you just saw and would love to see more of the uncut, unscripted, unadulted, spontaneous, off-the-rip information for me and Brother Malcolm, you need to become a member. Hit that link below because we're going to be going in on the after show. And we have more exclusive content as well. So don't forget to hit that link. Peace.